Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss how to filter your power apps gallery by month see here this is my SharePoint online list as training courses demos inside this I have added different columns with various data types including a date and time fields like demo start date and demo end date now I will show you exactly how to filter your power apps gallery by month using these two date fields for that open your power apps with respect to microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a power apps canvas app just click on the create button and click on the blank app here you can select the blank canvas app then click on the create button and provide the app name see here by default we will get format as tablet then click on the create button now you should connect your sharepoint online list for that go to the data section here click on the add data and select your SharePoint. Here you can choose your respective SharePoint site and select your SharePoint list. Then click on the connect button. Now on the Power App screen, insert a gallery control. and make it as alignment correctly now set its item property code like see here this with function can helps to evaluate a formula for a single record and start date and end date is the power app scope variables and today function is helps to get a current date and year function is helps to return a year component of a date and time and month function returns a month component of a date and time and this is my SharePoint online list as training courses and start date and end date is the power of date and time fields. Now click on the preview button. The gallery will filter and display each record from a SharePoint online list based on the current month or this month. Next I will show you how to filter a power apps gallery by next month for that insert another blank screen and add another gallery control and set its item property code like see here month function is helps to get a current month and plus one is for the next month now click on the preview button the gallery will filter and display each record from a SharePoint online list based on the next month now I will show you how to filter a power apps gallery by next two months for that insert a another blank screen then add a gallery control and set its item property code like see here month function is helps to get a current month and two is the number of next months now click on the preview button the gallery will filter and display each record from a SharePoint online list based on the next two months. Next I will show you how to filter a power apps gallery by last month. For that insert another blank screen and add gallery control See here this function helps to return a month of component of a date and time value and one is used for the previous or last month. Now click on the preview button. The gallery will filter and display the each record from a SharePoint online list based on the last month. In the last I will show you how to filter a power apps gallery by the last three months. For that insert another blank screen. Then add a gallery control. Then set its item property. See here this month function is helps to get a current month and minus 3 is the previous 3 months. Now click on the preview button. The gallery will filter and display each record from a SharePoint online list based on the last 3 months. Yes, this is all about how to filter a power apps gallery by month. I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.